forget how this handle goes. What's going on everyone? Welcome to Michigan Life Above the 45th Parallel. I'm Clarissa. And I'm Jason. And today we're doing concrete. It's concrete day again. Yep. We're going to finish up this pad today. We're going to pour the second half. Everything's prepped. Water set up. We got our whole pallet of concrete right next to our workstation. All I got to do is uncover that. We got to set up the mixer right next to it. Mm -hmm. Run power, start generator, and then we're ready to rock. Yep. We're going to get this poured today so that the next time we come up, we will be ready to actually build a shed after today, hopefully. So, yeah. Hopefully, uh, second time's a little better. I don't think we made any major mistakes first time, but this mm -hmm. time should hopefully go a little quicker because I think yep. we got a good rhythm planned out. So, yeah. And we're not going to be using the rebar again because it's a shed. Yep. It's taking a pallet of concrete right now. It's not even 100% cured. We have an entire pallet of concrete sitting there and no cracks. Everything looks, looks good. good. So, I think for our intended use, it should work out fine. Yep. So. All right. All right, let's get going, guys. Here we go. Let the fun begin. Another barrel of free rocks. my expansion joint in here but I don't want it to be sticking up so I'm gonna just hammer down through the sand a little bit. I don't know. I don't want it sticking up so I can get nice and flush with my pores.
done with this part of it now we got to smooth everything out I did end up getting some of the water onto the other pad should be okay but I'll clean it off in a bit get that off of there and we'll get this all evened out and I think having the extra cement actually helped out quite a bit because it's nice and full <laughs> and I guess if this side's higher it's fine it'll drain that way It'll be good.
Well, I tell you, getting everything back to camp is a heck of a lot easier. That was fun. Well guys, I think this time it went a lot better than last time. Yeah, I think it... We ended up getting it, well, we... <laughs> he wouldn't let me touch this one too much. But I think it went really, really good this time. I'd say it's an improvement over the first one. Yeah, definitely. Smoother. So this is going to end up wrapping... finished better. This is going to end up wrapping up our job here yep. for now. The concrete's poured. We gotta let this half harden. The other half's uh, already been hardened for four or five days. Yep. And then next step is gonna be build the shed. And then after we get the shed built, we're gonna like epoxy the floor. Yep. That'll be even, even. Yep. Just to pour it self-leveling, so it just kind of gets a nice flat surface on it, nice yep. and clean. It'll stay dry. It'll seal the concrete, keep moisture out, uh, so the stuff inside doesn't get as much moisture in it. It doesn't wick up all that moisture. So. Yeah. Well, yeah, this part of the job's done. Mosquitoes are out. Yes, they are. And we're going to be heading on over to my brother's property, and we're going to yep. hang out there for a barbecue. So yep. we're going to go ahead and end this one here. Yep. But we wanted to do a little shout-out this time to Charlene Grady. Hope you're having a great night. What's up, Charlene Grady? Appreciate Hope. all the support. <laughs> Hope everybody has a wonderful rest of your day. Make yep. sure to hit the like. Make sure to comment. Make sure to share. And don't forget to subscribe. Everybody have a great day. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.